Hey guys, so with Breaker coming out right around the corner, I wanted to spend today talking a little bit about the two different engravings for the Breaker class. The Asura, Sura, Shura Breaker, whatever you want to call it, or the Brawl King, King Fist, Fist King Breaker. Officially in the West, it's called Asura and Brawl King, but you can call it what you want. But I want to talk about both of those engravings because I think a lot of people are still trying to figure out which breaker they want to play. And for me, I have actually had a good bit of time playing the Sura Stance Breaker. And I can talk a little bit about my experiences there and also talk a little bit about the other breaker as well, the Brawl King Breaker and what I've heard and seen of it and kind of make a recommendation for what I think you should play. Now. We're going to start off with the Sura Breaker because that is what I ended up playing in the Korean servers. If you didn't know, I had a Korean account for a little bit and I was playing the Sura Breaker on the Korean servers and I got all the way up to, I'd say, Brel, right? I got up to Brel Gate 4 and played the class there. And you'll see in the background that the gameplay is currently from that. But I got to Brel Gate 4 and that's the furthest I got. But with that, I got a good bit of playtime with the class as well and know some of the kinks and intricacies of the class. Of course, I'm not going to be as educated as somebody like Saint who's been playing it for quite a while, but I have played it firsthand and wanted to share with you guys my experience with that class and why I recommend or don't recommend that class. So the Sura Stance Breaker is the front attack breaker. And that is the one that punches like crazy, right? It does the rah, 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 rah stance uh, attack. And I feel like that definitely is what most people are probably going to be making just because it is a little bit of the most flashy one and the one that is the most unique in many people's eyes. And I don't blame them. It's an extremely fun breaker play style. What you're going to be doing is alternating between your stamina and shock skills to fill up your meter. Then you're going to go into your sura form a sura form and start punching in the face now the thing about the asura breaker is that it is a front class at the end of the day and that has its own implications and also many people call it a little bit like a better gt destroyer and i think that is kind of fair in certain ways and i'm gonna explain so the sura breaker is a front attack class which has its own quirks and difficulties. Front attack classes end up having to take on a lot of the damage because the front of the boss usually is the most dangerous part of the fight. And also the boss usually has attacks at the front that will give you gauge or meter that you don't want to be taking. So pretty much front attack classes are usually some of the harder classes to play for that reason. And you also end up kind of messing people up in gates like Akan when you're getting hit by too many things. But that really is one of the main reasons why I'd say Sura Breaker is a relatively hard class because you do have to play in the front and also you have to know the fights very well to be able to time your punch stance, your Sura stance with the boss because that is the majority of your damage a lot of times. It's like 50 to 70% of your damage. So if you're not hitting that in the front, then you're going to be losing out on a ton of DPS. So a lot of times people say that with GT Destroyer, you really need to know the fights in and out because you need to know when the boss is going to be standing still for a long period of time and you can go into your GT Bonk stance, right? It's the same thing for Sword Breaker. You need to know the fight very well so you can figure out which timing you need to have to go into your Asura stance and start punching the boss. Because if it turns around immediately after you start punching, well, you're going to be losing out on a lot of damage. And I'd say that that really is the learning curve around the class, learning the fights and learning when to punch. And the class itself playing it isn't rocket science, but that part is going to be the hardest part. And also I'd say, I'd say like it's not the most natural thing for people to do. I'd say a lot of people know the fights decently well about like when the boss is going to be phasing, when the, what the attack patterns look like, but really knowing the intricacies, the ins and outs of when the boss is going to turn, when the boss is going to stand still for a long time, that's kind of a little bit more secondary. So 
a lot of people are going to be having trouble with that at first, but I'm sure with time, people are going to learn how to play it and learn how to adjust on the fly and become better players. So that really is the main consideration when it comes to the Sura Breaker. If you think that that's something you want to do, or you already know how to do because you're playing other front attack classes beforehand, or maybe playing a class like Eosophus that knows the fights really well, then I think the Sura Breaker is a very good class for you. But if not, you might want to consider the other class, the Brawl King Breaker. Now, I haven't had hands-on time with the Brawl King Breaker, but I've watched quite a few videos on it and kind of understand the general concept of the class. But because of this, instead of talking about the intricacies about how to play the class and what the playstyle is, I think I'm going to focus more on like kind of the requirements and what I know about the class archetype. Now, the Brawl King Breaker is a spec based class, right? And watching different videos that other people put out, Memorizer, Benji, etc. They have talked about how this class does have some spec breakpoints that you need to consider because if you have lower spec than the certain breakpoint, your rotations are going to be a little more clunky. Additionally, they have both said that having that second purple wealth rune from the sea bounties is definitely ideal because if you don't have it, that makes the spec requirements even higher, but also in many cases makes it so you can't do a very smooth rotation no matter how high your spec is. And I think that that already gives a barrier of entry that a lot of people aren't going to want to deal with. A lot of people might go into the class thinking, oh, here's the class. I've seen other people play it, but then realize that they don't have the money to build the spec up or have the purple wealth rune from sea bounties. And as a result, the class ends up feeling a lot more clunky than it needs to be. So if you're in a position where you can't spend a ton of money on the class buying the accessories, or you're in the position of not having that second purple wealth rune, the King's Fist or the Brawl King Breaker might not really be the class for you. And instead, if you still want to play Breaker, I'd recommend you trying the Sura Stance Breaker until you either A, have the purple wealth runes, or B, start having enough funds to buy higher quality accessories for the class. Because I don't think anybody really wants to go in playing a class, see that it's kind of clunky, and have a misconception that it's going to be like that at the end game, while in reality, you're just missing a couple pieces to make the class play smoothly, and therefore kind of making your experience less fun. The other thing is that from watching Benji's video, it seems like the ability to weave in auto attacks between your yellow skills is actually really, really important to the overall feel and DPS of the Brawl King Breaker. So if you're a person that can't quite do that, and maybe you're like missing or whipping attacks or auto attacks very often, right? And making it so that your cooldown isn't reduced from that, you might feel that the class is extremely clunky and that is not going to be the best experience either. So that is another thing to kind of keep in mind. So that's what I have to say about the two breaker classes. And I think here's also another very important question. Is breaker good for a new player? And I would say, unfortunately, breaker probably isn't the best for a new player because one, as I mentioned with the Brawl King Breaker, right? There's a lot of requirements. You need to have high quality for your accessories to have high spec. You need to have that second purple wealth rune, which a lot of new players might not even have all their wealth runes from before that. So the Brawl King Breaker is very unfriendly for a new player. Additionally, Sura Breaker, as I mentioned, you need to have really good understanding of the fights to be able to do good damage on that class. Because if you're mistiming your punches, well, that means you're doing Z. But there is some saving grace to this class in that it is a very strong class at the end of the day. It's very overtuned at the moment, even after the nerfs. So even if you're a new player going in, not really knowing how to play the class that much, I'd say you're probably going to have a relatively okay experience because you're still going to be doing decent damage, right? You're not going to be doing nearly as much damage as you could, but I'd say there are a lot of classes that are worse to make than the breaker for that reason. So would I recommend this class to a new player? Probably not, but if you still want to play it as a new player, 
go ahead because I think that it's definitely not the worst decision out there compared to some of the other classes. And you know, over time, you'll learn the fights, you'll get more resources, and the class itself will become more enjoyable to play. So that's about it today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something about the two breaker classes. And also let me know down in the comment section below if you are going to be making a breaker and which one you're going to be making. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And also I stream on twitch.tv every single night at twitch.tv slash me. So it's true starting at 10 PM PST. And I will definitely be making a breaker next week. So please tune in for those streams as well. If you want to see my breaker gameplay. So hopefully I'll see y'all on my stream, but if not, hopefully I see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.